In the ever-evolving landscape of software development, the need for efficient and effective testing solutions has never been more critical. In this clip, we are going to see Auto Playwright, an open source project that integrates the power of AI, more specifically GPT-4, into your testing workflow. Auto Playwright is designed to run Playwright tests using AI, offering a seamless and intuitive way to automate testing tasks. The setup is straightforward. First, we need an OpenAI API account to generate an API key from OpenAI to be able to use the GPT-4 model programmatically. If you don't know already, ChatGPT was developed by a company called OpenAI. Therefore, you need first to have an OpenAI account in order to access the API. So first thing you need to go to platform.openai.com and click on sign up. I won't go through the whole sign up process as it is really straightforward. You can use your Google or Microsoft account to register to the platform. As soon as you create your account, you then need to go and click on the upgrade button on the top right corner. Then click on set up paid account on the resulting page. This doesn't mean that you will pay money to use the API. The way the registration is structured is that you will receive few credits as a first time user. With those credits, you can play a bit with the language models that they expose. For example, the GPD 3.5 Turbo model costs $0.00 per 1,000 tokens. 1,000 tokens means that it can output texts made of 750 words. So it's quite cheap, but you will also get $5 worth of credits to use after your registration. Coming back to the registration, now you need to input the data of your credit card. Obviously, I will skip this section, but this is what it takes to upgrade your account. Just to be sure that you won't get billed, after using the API, you can set up limits so that you cannot exceed and pay for the calls you are making to the API. Another essential action you need to perform to play with this API is to get the API key. On your personal space on the OpenAI website, you can generate as many API keys as you want. Since you generate one, you won't be able to access it again. So make sure to copy it somewhere safe and not to share it with anyone. Now let's see how to install Auto Playwright. This is the command to install it, npm install auto playwright minus D. Next, we need to set the API key from OpenAI as an environment variable. Here's the command for this. I am not going to share my API key, so you need to use your own API key in this command. Next, let's create a file in the test folder with the name ai minus test spec JS. Here, let's paste the code I already have. Don't worry, I will explain every line. The first two import statements are importing all the dependencies we need for auto playwright. The auto object is quite important, as this is going to be used by us in most of the commands. Next, we define the test. We give it a name as well, and we make it asynchronous through this keyword over here. We are going to use my website bitheap.tech to test the authentication mechanism I have crafted special credentials for this clip. The username is Playwright and the password is the same, Playwright. Let's see how to achieve this in code. In this line over here, we navigate to my website. Next, we use the auto object and we give it instructions in plain English. Here we actually send those instructions to GPT-4. The instruction sounds like this. Click on any of the login buttons on this website. Next, we give the page and test objects as this is required by the Auto Playwright framework. Next instruction is giving the AI the username and password of the website and the instruction to log in. The next instruction we give is to fetch the validation for the authentication. We take this field over here and check if this message is displayed. If it is, then the authentication process was successful. In the end, we check if this is true. That's it. With this test, we leverage AI to write automated tests. Imagine how easy it is to write such tests without fetching locators, dealing with exceptions, or wasting time on different repetitive tasks. Let's run the test through this command and wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, the test finishes successfully. Auto Playwright represents not just a tool, but a leap forward in the way we approach test automation. It democratizes testing by making it more accessible, less cumbersome, and more aligned with the dynamic nature of web development.